Hello everyone, my name is Nur Atikah binti Muhammad Isa and I'm a broadcasting student from UITM Sha'alam. Today, I'm going to deliver you a speech about drawing. So, for your information, drawing has been my hobby since I was very little and it's the only talent that I'm really proud of. Honestly speaking, not to brag, but I'm pretty skilled at it. I can create human portrait, landscapes, buildings, and etc. For me, drawing is not just a hobby. Because from the moment I started to fall in love with drawing, it has been improving my life in so many ways. So, today's speech is going to be about 5 main reasons how drawing has made my life happier. So without further ado, let's start with the first reason. When I'm drawing, I tend to focus totally on one thing only, especially when I'm drawing a real life object. By this means, drawing has helped me into building such concentration power. Because an artist needs all the concentration in the world while drawing their painting in order to create such a magnificent artwork. Leonardo da Vinci once said, painting embraces all the 10 functions of the eyes. That is to say, darkness, light, body and color, shape and location, distance and closeness, motion and rest. Through such concentration, you can see details around you, your surroundings and your environment. Through drawing, I can express various emotions, train of thoughts, and collective feelings. Drawing expands the option of an exalted communication field. Through drawing, people can express what they feel, what they want, their perceptions towards something, and etc. Usually, shy people or people with verbal disabilities find drawing a better communication to enunciate with others. Now when I'm saying drawing boosts my confidence, I wasn't as exaggerating. When I was a child, I always drew a piece of art and give it to my parents. Though all of my arts are kind of gibberish, but my parents still like it and they put it on our fridge. So this kind of action lifts up my self-esteem. It encourages me to draw more. And thus, I gradually improve. The same applies to adults as well. If you draw something and you like it, you will definitely hang it on the wall, right? So this gives out satisfaction that stimulates you to move forward. Since I'm a student myself, it would be a lie if I never feel any pressure at all while doing my assignments. Sometimes when I'm too stressed and tired, I would stop for a while and started to draw something on a piece of paper. Does this help? Well, of course it does, at least for me. Because painting, sculpting, drawing, all of these are relaxing and fruitful distractions from my everyday hectic student life. This is one of the most important benefit of drawing, which is to express oneself in a unique manner. Sketching out my thoughts and ideas or oozing out my imagination on a piece of paper can make me explore myself into a deeper trance. When I'm painting a portrait, the colors I choose express my feelings of that particular person. Or even when you are composing a landscape, the exaggeration of colors indicates your emotions and how you perceive the whole world. You don't have to be as good as Van Gogh to start drawing. You just need a piece of paper, a pencil, colors, and some brushes. Just 
go crazy and draw whatever you want. Don't limit yourself. Stimulate your brain cells and boost your imagination. And the most important part is you have to feel the fun so you can live a happy life like me. So I guess that's all from me. Thank you for listening and see you again.